So I looked at her and was like, come on, boys, let's keep on going inside. That's not necessary. So I gave them my blessings. I walked them inside, and I, I stood about 10 minutes inside. I came out. She stood out there, parked in front of the school. She pulled down the window. She started cursing at me, and she spit at me. So I spit at her right back. <laughs> and I continued walking home. As I continue walking home, I'm turning the corner, ready to cross the street. As I'm crossing the street, she turns the car in a one way, she eats the stop sign, and she hits me with the car. I got surprised. I, I fell down. So as I'm getting up, she rushes out the car, she starts attacking me. So I'm trying to defend myself. So I'm trying to zip, unzip my coat to pull my hands up. So I finally took off my coat and she kept on attacking me, and then she snatched my coat, ran back in the car. So at that moment, I was like, help, help somebody, can I have a... Uh, cell phone to call 911. I need to call 911. I'm being attacked. Somebody finally um, let me call. So I'm like, help, help, help. Please come. I'm being um, assaulted over here. So I see her rushing back out. She's like, calling your son? Who are you calling, huh? When I see her coming out, I pick up a stick to start her to see if the cops come. And I'm taking off my boots. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, leave it alone. Leave it You're alone. Taking, leave it taking off your boots? Yeah, because I had some boots up to my knees and they were high and they were tight and I kept on falling. So to have my balance and protect myself, and I'm like, leave me alone already, leave me alone. The cops are coming, leave me alone. She's like, no. She smacks the um, stick out of my hand, and she attacks me. And I feel somebody else behind me, pushing me against the gate, and she just kept on hitting me. Boom, 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 boom. And I kept on defending myself, and she, and she bit my finger. <laughs> And she said, how are you defending myself? How? And that's when the cops came. What are you doing to defend yourself? I, I Apparently just, nothing. It hurt it so much. It was unbelievable. So it was the tip of your pinky finger that she bit off. Yes. All right, Ms. Hernandez, tell me your version of the events. Okay. My child and she her She bit the girl tip of the finger off. Her tip of her finger is it's really gone. It's the first time that we see each other. But every time we see each other, she has something to say, whether it's indirect, under her breath, whatever. Usually, I just let it go. You know, give her a, you know, smirk, whatever. This morning, let me stop you just for a mm -hmm. second, just for <laughs> my own information. Are you nice to Jose? Yeah. Are you nice to Jose? Yes. Because you said nice things about him before. You said if the kids need anything, he gets it for them. Yeah. I assume that you're, you're still living with him. Right. And you think he's a nice guy. Right. Right. And I assume you don't like her. Right. I, I don't have anything That's what against it is. her. I assume you're not crazy about her because I believe that there is this underlying current of animus, anger, that the two of you have, and you're not crazy about her. Yes. Is that right? Correct. And then I don't understand. You see, you look like Hey, this shit is wild right here, y'all. Listen, you gotta Jose see. Jose's the bad guy. Not you. He was two-timing you. He was two-timing you. There's no question in my mind. So you all make up with Jose and fight with each other. Two women fighting with each other when the bad guy is off doing what he's doing. Maybe hey. with somebody. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> ah. That's it. What you do, Migo? What you do? It's so foolish to me. And you're not the first two women that I've seen do this kind of ridiculous fighting right. over some worthless piece of trash guy mm. who doesn't support his children, Man. lets the state do it, lived a lie for at least four years. Why you look puzzled? Man? Because it's, according to what I know, the state supports her. State supports the children unless he provides support through the court. The state supports her children. That's why she didn't marry him, or that's why he didn't marry her. They have a little extra cash. He's not going to have that extra cash anymore because they're going to attach his salary, which you just swore under oath that you I've paid I've been telling people get married, fuck up the money sometimes. Take it out for six years worth of money. But if you got the money. Let's move on with February 5th at 7.30 in the morning. I'm getting out of the, um, my vehicle, dropping off my daughter. Mm -hmm. I run into school. It was freezing that day. As I'm leaving the school, she's entering the school with her two children. She tells her oldest son, I'm just effing showing off. I look at her, I said, you know what, why don't you just take your kids into school and shut up. I don't have effing time for this. I'm going towards my truck. I in front of the children. I go towards both my of truck. Both, both of you, as a matter of fact. Because I absolutely believe that that happened. First of all, my, Shh. Okay. I go towards my uh, truck. She puts her kids through, there's one door, second door, leaves them in there, runs back out, starts taking off her coat. Telling me I've been dying to kick it for the last eight years. Get out of the truck. I'm in the truck and I'm laughing at her while she's taking off her clothes. Mine is eight degrees outside. Now she starts kicking eight degrees. It's freezing. Gets in front but of the truck. Taking her boots off. On the um, hmm. um, um, hood. I'm honking the horn for her to get out of the way. I can't drive fast because there's hand 
someone is dropping off their um, children and we're in front of a school and they have speed bumps. If not, I would have went around and kept going. Couldn't do that. I went up, moved up a little, she moved over, right? As I'm going towards, there was a stop sign. Just a minute, you have a big business? It's a small business. It's not that big. In case somebody has to reach you with your business when you're out with your child, how do they do that? My cell phone. Which works? Which I didn't have. I don't believe that. You don't walk out of the house in eight degree weather in a car without your cell phone. You know what? I didn't even have a bra on. I don't care whether you had your bra. You may go out without a bra, but nobody goes out without their cell phone. <laughs> she made a point so right there. I don't there. believe that. Okay. Absolutely don't believe that you didn't have your cell phone. So if you have this nut banging on your car looking to fight with you, what is the last thing you do, Miss Hernandez? The last thing you do. You have a nut, nutty person, takes off her coat in eight degree weather, starts banging on your car, damaging your car. What is the last thing a woman does? What's the last thing you do? Gets out of the car. That's the last thing so you're going to do. Is, Somebody banging in your car, obnoxious and crazy. I didn't stay in the car. Why not? You're going to get out the motherfucker? Into the window. First of all, why is the window open? You're going to get out if you're ready to put the fire out. Because when it's eight degrees outside, when I used to live in New York, the first thing I did was make sure those windows were up and the heat was on, not keep the windows down. So why, Miss Hernandez, with the windows down? I rolled down the passenger window. For what? To curse her out and tell her to go home. <laughs> okay? You have some crazy person who's attacked your car, who's hell-bent on attacking you. Why in the world would a businesswoman who has apparently a successful small business, so she said, why would she get out of the car where she's safe to confront some lunatic? There's. Why would you do that? Because I was tired of her. I was tired of her. So you got out of the car to beat her up? No, to return the favor. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't believe that for a minute. <laughs> Not for a second. But you got out of the car to beat her up. That's what you did. You got out of the car to beat her up. And Miss Rivera, there isn't a question in my mind. I mean, apparently. You attacked her car. Not a question in my mind. What y'all think? The situation Jeez, she got out of her ass. The way you told me she rolled the window down. She got out of the car. Changes that she I just told you the only way you get out of the car was somebody doing some crazy like this because you about to put out the fact. That she banged on your car before you got out of the car and beat her up. Now, who is this, by the way? This is my son. He's been supporting me through my pain and suffering. You wouldn't have had any pain and suffering if you hadn't started to rail on her car. Your Honor, um, this has been going on for a long time. Miss Rivera, I'm not interested in a long time. She's been sending me letters through the mail and harassing me and everything. Were you arrested? Many years ago. Arrested for this case? Oh, well, yes. Right. Were you arrested? Yes. For this case? Yes. And what happened when you went to court on this case, Miss Rivera? Because you were arrested, I assume, for either vandalism or harassment. What happened with that case? They just gave me a fine of $95. They were going to give me a misdemeanor, but they saw that. Um, Don't tell me what they saw. You must have pled guilty if you had to pay yes, a fine. Yes, I did. Exactly what did you on. Guilty too. To uh, vandalizing. All right. There you go. That's exactly what I surmised happened. You vandalized her car, and you pled guilty to that in a criminal proceeding. Um, they didn't tell me it was for her vehicle. They just said it's for the for vandalizing. For being, Why did you fear? think you were vandalizing? The snow. Right. You have to pay for her injuries because you pled guilty to assaulting her. She didn't pay for medical bills. State that. I, no, no, no. I'm not giving her a dime for her medical bills. But she doesn't have any medical bills. But you assaulted her. She has to be compensated for that. And you have to pay for her truck because you started it. Why would I have to pay? She don't have no evidence I did anything to her. Oh, yes, she does. She ain't got no evidence. Because you pled guilty to vandalizing my truck. You girl's dumb. Have you have pictures of the truck? No, I have an estimate. I'd like to take a look at it. Man, you girls dumb. Know, is that the finger that you bit? The people yes, of the world, why I'm trying to tell you. I have to too. I don't even have to be a finger. You have Medicaid, is that correct? Yes. And they so both probably have people, people in their life that are always trying to tell them something. They'd be like, ah, if they think they know it all. Your finger. Absolutely nothing. They cannot reattach it anymore. They, yes, they could. I have to I have it here. What are they going to do to it and everything? 
Listen to me. I'm not at this stage of the game. Now, you have any other children other than these two children? I have one more, which is Jose. That's it. Three boys, yes. His father is not Jose. No. How old are you? Twenty. What do you do for a living? I'm a sales associate at Macy's at 34th Street. And? And I go to college, John Jay. Perfect. You get along with Jose? Somewhat. Smart. <laughs> On your claim, Miss Rivera, I am awarding you for pain and suffering $1,500. Mm. I would have ordered more, except you precipitated this attack by vandalizing her car. But she also... I'm speaking. I'm ruined now. I heard you. I'm awarding you $800 on your counterclaim to fix your car, which I am deducting from her award. Right. Do you understand? Yes, I know. Which means, Miss Rivera, $700, because I've deducted the $800 that she's getting for the truck. I'm speaking, and you get nothing. But you get your truck fixed. Do you understand? Yes, I do. And I'm going to suggest, if you are two decent human beings, and you both made the mistake of falling for Jose, you put this animosity to rest. Right. It should be over. You don't want him anymore. You got him for now. You won't have him in five years, but you got him for now. You may not be happy when they start taking money. Why out lady be whole, kicking whole the game? Because that's what they're going to do. That's what the state of New York's going to do. You can't escape your responsibility. If you make children, you have to support them. And is there any reason why you don't work? What are you looking over here for? Is there any reason why you yes, don't work? I don't work because I my reading is not so great. You don't have to read for every job. If you can find me one out. Willing to work. It's not my job to look for a I job for you, man. No one wants You've been on welfare 19 years. It's time to move on. There were lots of jobs that you can do. Can you imagine the pain that to... girl had to feel sitting there in that courtroom looking all good and have children and to have to t be honest with somebody? She was. She told that judge, uh, uh, my reading is not too good. That's just like telling somebody, man, I ain't out. Oh, I just dumb for real. So if your reading ain't too good, then you just going off everything you hear. And everything somebody else told you, sure, that ain't even a good look. That's, man, I'm Judas Pooh America, man. That's my reaction.